All right, here we are. This is Echo Craft. So listen, uh, we're going to check out the new CR78. I've had some issues with my webcam. I have a new one, so uh, that's why it took me so long to do this review. Um, but anyway, here we go. We're going to dive right into this, man. It looks really cool. I've played with it for a little while. It's done some interesting things. So, um, yeah, let's get right to it. So there it is, full-blown screen. Um, I'm really liking this thing, and I have to say that uh, Cherry Audio sent this to me. Um, I thought that was really cool. I didn't ask for it. Um, uh, they told me to be honest. I'm being honest. And I have to say right off the bat that I absolutely love this thing. It's amazing. Uh, it's so much fun to play with. Um, so let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first thing I'm going to do is just play this little riff. This is the CR 78 cherry audio rhythm machine. Basically it's, it's taken from the original, um, the original uh, Roland CR78, um, which has been on countless recordings in the past and in the 80s. The biggest one that I remember is Phil Collins' uh, In the Air Tonight, and um, there's countless other ones. A Human League used it. Joe Jackson used it. So, yeah, so without further ado, here we go. So let's check, check this out. We're going to take a listen. It's very cool. And it's got this manual um, fill right here. So watch. And you can slow the tempo down. We'll put this fill up to four. We'll hit auto. And we'll see where that goes. <laughs> Could have picked a better patch, I guess, but it's kind of cool, you know. Let's try a different patch. This is called War Zone. This ought to be interesting. All right. And this is in song mode right now. I'll switch it to pad mode. And as you can hear, that's the bass drum super fat. So as I hit the manual button for the fill, it waits for the measure and then it kicks in, which is pretty dope. Let's see. Uh, let's go in and mess with this bass drum. So here's this is where all your instruments are. I'm going to go up here to the. Uh, main panel here, I'm going to voice edit, and I can actually, I love the fact and it reminds me a lot of, this type of drum machine pattern reminds me a lot of the automatic uh, drum machine patterns that come in the Artoria um, Drum Brute Impact. Let's see. Been messing around with the uh, metallic sounds, kind of like a cowbell. And I, 
in here, <clears throat> we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, let's check out some kits. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is interesting. Let's, let's check this out. That's really cool. So we got four on the floor bass drum here. Let's check it out. We're going to try to edit this bass drum. Listen to that. Then we've got effects. Look at these effects. This is amazing, these effects that we have. We also have a six-band EQ over here. Um, we also have different levels, so we could bring that kick up. And we'll bring the hi-hat up. And we'll bring the clouds up. tambourine as well so let's uh let's uh let's throw a delay on the tambourine and bring that there we go so there's a whole bunch of things you can do it's amazing it really is I, i'm blown away at how cool this thing actually is Let's go back to the main screen and let's put in, uh, let's see what else can we put in here. A little more tambourine. And we'll stop it. Actually, let's check this out. Hold on a sec. Let's do this. So cool. Um, let's check some more stuff out. Uh, let's do uh, let's do some rock stuff. You ready? Again, this is in song mode. I'm actually going to put it in. Um, let's put it in uh, patent mode. Let's go to the voice edit again. I mean, the bass drum's clicking and it just sounds so good, man. Let's get that. There you go. Got that that snare drum snapping very cool let's go back to the main uh, thing we're going to go to the hi-hat There we go. Right, let's 
throw a clap in there. Let's go back to the clav. Oh, it's a cymbal. I'm sorry. I put the... And let's go to the uh, main edit. We'll bring the cymbal up a little bit. Let's go back and we'll throw in a manual uh, fill. I mean, this thing is so much fun and it's so different sounding. It's I have a bunch of drum machines and I have to say this thing is very very different sounding. All right, let's check it out. The accent up all the way. I love the fact that you can control the velocity too. Uh, let's see. I don't have this hooked up to the DAW right now. I'm just checking out the drum machine. Let's see. Uh, variation fill-in. Let's try this. A snare roll. Let's do a rhythm break. Very cool. Here we go. Let's throw that automatic on there. Let's, uh, what I like too is like you're clicking on this right here right now to actually pick the different um, the different uh, instruments and I love that they give you a little video here I mean Cherry Audio thought of everything when they came to this and designed this and I really really love this thing uh, so let's do uh, a low bongo and we'll go into voice edit Go to the low bongo. It's kind of cool. And we we'll go to mix. And we'll go to the low bongo. We'll pull that up. But we'll throw some effects on there. Right now we have some reverb on there. Let's throw. Uh, Um, put that on. Sorry about that. I mean, it's, it sounds like a very analogy type um, delay. I mean, check this out, man. This is so cool. Right now we have it on ping pong. It's going back and forth, which is really cool. Let's try tape. Let's try. Uh, let's try the plate. Oh yeah, there we go. Put a little uh, flanger on the uh, snare drum. I mean, designing this is so exciting to me. I'm designing the sound. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I'm excited right now. I'm like freaking out. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's do some house.
so cool. I'm actually going to go into the edit window again. I like my bass drums just a little bit more decay on them. Imagine you could probably um, edit this uh, in the DAW where it actually will record whatever I'm doing, which is pretty cool. So much fun, right? funny too much fun uh let's see what else we got let's try this one lisbon underground very similar sounds good we're in pattern mode See what else we got. Let's go back into edit mode and turn those hi hats up a little bit. And we'll go into mix mode. Let's get those hi hats up. Nice thing, too, about this mix mode is I can actually solo stuff. And I can pan stuff. Which is, this is crazy that you can do all of this. It's so much fun. This is crazy. I love this. Let's go back. All right, let's try something else. Uh, let's see. Let's do um, I don't know, combinations. What do we got here? Combinations. Turn it up a little bit. We've got swing. And let's see. There we go. There 
There we go. That sounds pretty cool. Very cool. Oh, it's off. Okay, didn't see that. Let's turn it up. Ooh, little uh, thumpa thumpa there. Did you hear that? So let's go back to the voicing. Very cool. All right, so in user, we can add stuff. And we can also change the presets right here. And you can hear that they change. So it has to go through the, the uh, few bars that this is, and then it changes. Turn it up a little bit. And we can cancel it, too. And then we can start over. I got a little bossa nova action here. There you go. Let's go back to edit. Let's get that rim shot. There we go. This is an old school bossa nova right here. Yeah. Let's go to the uh, edit again. I'm bring those hi hats up. I love this thing, man. This is so much fun. Oh, we're getting a little loud. Bring that down just a little. So seriously, like, you can't go wrong with this. This is just ridiculous. This thing is so cool. I mean, it's $99. I don't know if it's $49. It was $49 when it first came out. That was on Valentine's Day. It's $99. Okay? You can't touch a drum machine, physical drum machine, for that kind of money. And granted, I love drum machines. I have several of them, hardware ones. This is the virtual drum machine, and I got to tell you, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of interesting patterns. You can buy the uh, extension um, samples uh, and beats, uh, the sample pack, uh, which is really cool. I think that's $9.99, and you get the extra ones. Again, I have to thank Cherry Audio um, for doing this for me because I got to tell you, I'm blown away that they reached out to me and uh, asked me if I wanted to have a copy of this, and I really appreciate it. Again, anything 
that I do or say about this uh, has nothing to do with them telling me, um, uh, you know, what to say or what to what to comment on it. This is all me telling you guys that this is amazing. Um, I love this a lot. I can't wait to add it in a DAW. Um, so please check it out. Uh, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is kind of like an unboxing video, but um, really more of a demo, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, so please go to Cherry Audio, buy this drum machine. You won't regret it. It's a lot of fun. I see it uh, incorporating it with some of my stuff, my hardware drum machines. Um, also, I have the Behringer Edge, which I intend to mix into uh a song with this um oh, there was my hand there in the camera sorry um it's I'm, I'm blown away again i can't thank uh robert enough from cherry audio for uh for sending this to me and allowing me to review it and enjoy it and please check out their stuff i have a couple of cherry audio synthesizers um i also have some of their effects and they make great stuff and it's not a lot of money um, that's one thing that I'm blown away about. A lot of Cherry Audio stuff is good quality. It, it's all good quality. I shouldn't say a lot of it. Um, but a lot of other companies out there, man, they charge big bucks for stuff like this. And this is great. It's a great drum machine. If it's your first drum machine, you're going to have a blast using it. I'm going to tell you right now. This is awesome. So this is the Cherry Rhythm CR78. Indeed, indeed. Uh, thank you again, Cherry Audio, and thank you guys for watching. Um, and always stay frosty, stay creative. Peace out.